You'll hear that in kids. Okay? When do you call the doctor? Nasal flaring, increased severe retraction, grunting, or if the child is blue. A child born blue, no good. Okay? The child do have what we call apnea. They stop breathing. It is normal, but it cannot be more than what? 15 seconds. So in Glex Ashu, they give you four, stay with me, four patients. Which patient are you going to call the doctor for intervene? A newborn with apnea or an adult with apnea? A newborn with apnea, a newborn with apnea is normal. An adult with apnea. Yes, it can happen adult, but it's a bad sign too. Either you really obese, you smoke, you understand apnea is normal for kids, right? Long as it's less than what? 15 seconds. Good job. Okay? Now, 285C. You're going to put NCLEX. You're going to put I cannot open piercing door without knowing hepatic jaundice. Listen. I'm born at 10 o'clock. My mommy had me. This is Right? If I'm born yellow, Mean fait tout jaune. Le comprend créole là en anglais. If I'm born yellow at ten o'clock, it's no good. It is called patho jaundice, and that is bad. Now, I'm born at ten o'clock today. Tomorrow at ten o'clock, I'm not yellow. I'm good. The next day I'm good. The third day I turn yellow, that is normal. That is called physiological jaundice. So physiological jaundice is good. Pathological jaundice is bad. Children is not born yellow. Any question? Now. When you are not born yellow, but when you have jaundice, whether you have physiological or pathological jaundice, I don't care which one, here's the nursing intervention. Nurses, priority is feeding. Whether mommy going to breastfeed me, whether mommy going to bother feed me, it does not matter. Priority is feeding. Feeding. So, I fed you, you still yellow. So the doctor will order other intervention. He will put you under sunlight or tell mommy take you out in the sun. Now, if the doctor put you under the warmer, the nurse priority is not skin. Priority is fluid. You make sure the patient is hydrated. Hold on, I'm gonna give to you. Now, when the child is in the warmer, you will cover the eyes and the prior. You're going to make sure the child have IV fluid and you're gonna put a mitt in or the child can Keep moving and take off the what? The restraint. In this case, the making is not considered a restraint. Yes? It's not good. After 24 hours, you have your, um, you, you yellow, it's good. 24 hours, three days, four days, five days, it's, it's good. Yes? Yes. Because once you give them fluid, you just fix the skin. The school taught you the skin is priority. See, when we hydrate, our, it fixes our skin, right? 
Of course, you're going to look at the child for listlessness. Right? You're going to check the skin. This child, you're not going to check on every four hours, honey. You're going to check on every 15 minutes. If you check this child every two hours, that's too long. Now, priority is fluid. If priority is fluid, how do you know that fluid I'm giving the child is working? BB. So you go weigh the wood. There you go. I know. You go weigh the diaper. You go weigh the diaper empty, and you go weigh the diaper wet. Any question? The average diaper ch a child wet a day six to eight. Some books say four to eight. Some books say four to eight. Some books say six to eight. I want you to go to Inflex, say four to eight. Four to eight. Just put four to eight. Some books say six to eight. Go pay Bukiti four to eight. I want you to go four to eight. Now, there's something else. In Collect, when we go to pediatric, I want to talk about the milk, the gallon milk. When do we give kids gallon milk? Huh? Yeah. See? Some book, listen, some books say one year. One year, some books say six months. I want you to take that six months. Six months to a year. Again, some books say one year, some books say six months. I want you to take it from six months to a year. Yeah. Always the red, red, oh, you start the red top. The red top, always. When the child two, you can go to blue or light the purple top. Always red top. Always red top you give first. DCF won't come after you. <laughs> always red, whole milk at the beginning. Like this, you commence Bali. Blue or purple, whatever, a white top, whatever you desire. Yes. You will never have both. I'm going to tell you, because I make my mama papa, I got two mama papa with this answer question. One say six months, the exit one say a year. And I'm telling you, if six months is there, take it. I just told you, you will never have that. See, certain things you understand about joint it. Makes sense, right? The new, yes, the new living car, the foot boat, my old living car is a six months. The new living car is a year. You're right, you living car reader. I'm a living car reader because living car is what gives inclex. Prep you is inclex. Okay? Yes, ma'am. Question. Shh. Uh. Okay, any question? Okay, now another question with Lipping Car. A lot of students call me and say, Look, I don't want to buy the prep you because I got the book. But I get problem. But let me tell you, when I go to that meeting every July, I go to an Inclex meeting. This meeting, they only have the top schools Nova, FAU, um, the one in Miami, University of Miami. They have one more top school. They got BCC, Miami Day, not Day Medical. <laughs> and the reason I go there, like I'm the big boy, honey, I go with Nova. So, and you don't see none of the little small Haitian schools there. You only see the big dogs. And who come talk to us is the people from Lippincott. Y'all better buy the damn prep you. A-T-I-G-T, Bouboulé. Compliment, Bouboulé, Bédi, I'm telling you, that A-T-I mess, stay away, focus on Lipping Cop, Prep You. Trust me, you'll thank me later. And if you, if you have evolved, if you have evolved, good. If somebody gave you some free Kaplan question, take it, because it's free. But things not about Kaplan no more. Kaplan was the bomb in, in the 90s. No more. <laughs> Kaplan don't even get invited to this meeting. Wow. Uh -huh. Kaplan don't even get invited. 
The man come with his big suit from Lipping Cop, come out and go to talking and show us simple questions. And nobody can't write nothing. And nobody can't have no pencil. All you gotta do is sit there and look. And I look. I go. Mm. It's like that. Nobody can't take. I write that on my mind. And I got a good mind. Right? And I go every July. That's why when you come and you call me with the news, like yesterday, what did I do? I called Hawaii. And let me tell you, I said, there's a rumor. I called him last night at 9.30. I, I said, there's a rumor. The rumor is that, that the students from Florida has to work for you for a year now. The lady said, oh, no. I said, do you know Channel 12 News put it on the news that it's illegal? You know what the lady said? Did you read all the article? Ha. She said, we read it. 50 state, one person. Hawaii test is legal for you to take and change your license. Mm -hmm. But here's what she said though. She said, when you have a Hawaii license, even you change it to Florida, you still show that you license in two states. That's right, yes. Yeah, because a lot of people think your Hawaii license is gone in the garbage. It's not. You still show you license in two states, and that's strictly legal. I said, but the students don't have to go work for you guys a year. She said, no, there's no rules, nothing. I don't know if that's going to come out soon, but right now, no. So don't listen to the nations. Talk about somebody <laughs> saying, because you know I'll call right quick to the source. Yep, she said, you take your test, you can endorse it, unless Florida block you from endorsing. That's the problem with Florida, because they want you to take it here. That's why they changed it and made the test a little easier now. Because people, $40, Hawaii getting rich. Forty. you know how many $40? My students alone, if I have 436 students, and 80% of them go to Hawaii, that means Florida losing a lot of money. Yeah. Okay, but they still making it under endorsement. All right, so make sure you know C. Okay, make sure you know C. That one, very important. Okay, number 11 was on my test question. Let me read it for you. Administer one dose of vitamin K. Where? In the neonate. Where? Lateral aspect, middle third of the vascular lateralis muscle to prevent hemorrhagic <laughs> disorder. <laughs> Class, where on there did you see petechiae? Nowhere. But a lot of students on that test put petechiae. Raise your hand if you put petechiae on my test. You know I already checked. <laughs> right? <laughs> Why you did not put the hemorrhagic, because it says hemorrhagic intracranial, da da. So you got crazy because you saw intracranial. Guys, you don't care about that intracranial, honey. Long as say hemorrhagic, that's what the book say, the book. Then, then I ask you, bring me the book. Oh, no. You don't have to go get it. Yeah, anytime you come see me, please bring la book. Right? The book. Right? So it's right here. Any question? Number 11. All right. Turn. Number, page 286. I need you to put in clutch, just highlight 4 all the way to 12. Okay? Four, number four, all the way to 12. Number four, all the way to 12. Ready? Observe standard precaution with handling the newborn. Oh my God. Oh my God. If I say standard precaution, which when we do hygiene and safety in this class, that's a very important class. Standard precaution means dress for what you see. That means if the child is vomiting, of course you're going to use blood, gown, goggles because of slash. That's what standard precaution. That book didn't say droplet. They didn't say contact. They say standard. That means dress 
for what you see. You got that? So highlight that. Okay, now, number 10, NCLEX. Administer eye medication within one hour after birth. The eye medication is erythromycin, right? Now, NCLEX going to ask you how to administer the eye drop. Where do you learn that from? Fundamental skills. You see that? Right? So make sure you know that. Provide cord care. Put it in order right here. All of the students said, this week the order they gave you guys, they gave to them here. They could give them four, five, six, seven, and ask you one, two, three. Or they give you one, two, three, it will be on by. You guys, when the people ask you put in order, they, they can give you the bottom part or the top part. You have to fill it, right? And that's why when you take my fundamental exit, I have a fundamental exit. All it is is skill. Okay? It is the hardest mama papa you take. The reason because the skills. My advice to you, take the fundamental mama papa last. Because it's easy, you can get a 60 on it. I'm okay. 60 on that fundamental, I'm okay. I take it, shake your hand, say go. Okay? I tell you, review the skills. I got on there, spewed them, how to put an NG2, how to put a Foley. All I'm looking to see you know how to put the stuff in order. All right? So please, a lot of you guys say, I'm not taking Miss Sonia test. Your business, because the test is there for you, take that. Trust me. You don't do well, I go over with you. I cannot beat you. I cannot kill you. Okay? All right? Take them. Boom, ba, boom. Take them. Okay? Okay. All right. Any question? Circumcision. E, very big on inclex. Clean the penis after each voiding. Squeeze water over it. F, inclex. You're going to see a white stuff come out the pee pee. It is normal that you see a milky. Don't, if mommy say, what is that? Oh my God, call the doctor. What are you going to tell mommy? It's normal. normal. Now, Inclex asks you about the dressing. There's a dressing that they put on the peepish with Vaseline, petroleum. When to remove the petroleum if applied after the first voiding? That's an Inclex question. Okay. We cool? All right. H. You see H? I want you to put Miss Sonia. Just put Miss Sonia by H. When Miss Carrie come, I'm going to have her print something for me. I'm going to, listen, I'm going to print something, conduction, convection, radiation. Listen, I'm going to print it in words when Miss Carrie come, when we go on break, when you come back, I'll have it for you. H. Just put Miss Sonia here on it. I'm going to give it to you in words. Go over it. You're going to Google what picture go with what. Again, when Miss Carrie come in, I'm going to have her printed. Something she typed up for me. I'm going to give one. All of you guys one, and we're going to discuss it. Your job is you're going to Google the pictures that go with the word. Conduction, convection, radiation, bagaisayo. It's H, thermoregulation. We're going to talk about that. Reflexes. That I need you to read. Look, don't go read all the reflex. Let me tell you the reflex I want you to read. Moral. Moral. Startle. Babensky. Moral. Startle Babensky. That is on NCLEX. Moro, Startle, and Babensky. Okay? 
Okay? Okay, turn. Now, we on page 288. Newborn safety is on NCLEX. People steal kids, right? So make sure, right, you do not put on Facebook baby comment. The signs in the grass, right, or the little signs in your car, baby on board. Because there's a lot of people that can't have kids, right? So box 25-1, go for baby safety. All personnel must wear identification. Now, here it is, guys. In collects ask, baby, after baby is born, what's priority, bonding with mommy or put Gracie? You always put Gracie. That's not the answer. Guys, listen. Who's going to steal baby in that room? Nobody. If they put baby is leaving the room to go get MRI, What's priority? Okay. You got to understand the question. Students always go with identification. Uh-uh. You got to read the scenario and see what they're asking. There's nobody going to steal the Shakita in that room. But if Shakita go to MRI or chest x-ray, that means Shakita and mommy, there's a separation. You make sure baby have the same little tag as mommy. Now, in the room, the room designed like this. Door, mommy, and then baby. You don't have door, baby, mommy. All hospitals is designed or be worn a certain way. There's a security in front of the door. Not the room door, but they all. Yes, the entry. There's a security, right? You got to go to nurse's station first, right? So you get a check downstairs, you get checked in front of the door, and you get checked at the nurse's station. Then you go in the room. You will greet mommy first, and then baby is bed, and then baby's little bed. You never walk with baby in the hallway in your arm. Unless it's a pee ward, the kids have cardiac problem, like Tachogelia phalli, and the nurse is doing this with the baby. You never see CNA walking with baby now all making baby sleep. That's a lawsuit, baby. Kids can fall. You always push in the little bassinet. Any question? Yes. Yes. I have one that worked for Boca. Fennan, she worked there for 25 years. 25 years at Boca. Fennan, and let me tell you something. They need a secretary, it's her daughter. They need another CNA, it's her cousin. <laughs> Nobody can never get no damn job because they hire within. The whole family, I'm telling you. And she see all the schools because Boca don't let little small school in. Either Nova, FAU, BCC. Mm -hmm. I got a student that worked for both. Vincent, she, she, um, yeah, Fernanda RN, she took her test. Yeah, she she took her test a right? yeah, long time ago. Yeah, Fernanda passed like a year ago. She she worked there. She she's she's a nurse now. Yeah, she a nurse. Huh? A student here. She was my student at school, and she is student. She came to the review. She still worked there, but she's not a CNA no more. But she's a good CNA, like good. Any CNA that work in hospital, you you like an LPN. They just that good. They know and they do a lot, and they see a lot. That's why she used to say, "Ooh, these schools come in, Miss Sonia. They don't know nothing." <laughs> like she know how to put a foley. She fed on is the bomb, but nobody can get no damn job. <laughs> and they pay for her school. Boca, wherever where they have those babies, and she bathe the babies. Fed on do everything with the babies. That's why she love her job. CNA for twenty five years. Yeah. Any question? Make sure we know. Now, breastfeeding. Listen, I don't teach students breastfeeding. 
The reason I don't teach you that because I don't send you to NCLEX for breastfeeding. Anytime you go to NCLEX, they ask you a latch question. 99.9, you fell in the test. Because those are level one, you know it, you read it, so therefore. So I'm asking you, if you want to know about breastfeeding, you can just read it. Okay? How to put the breast in the mouth. That's a level one question. All right? Just read it. Okay? Now, what I will teach you, the level three question, give me all that applied preterm, baby. Let's go to preterm ne neonate. Preterm neonate, you're born before 37 weeks. Sign and symptoms. Ready? Respiration problem. Body temperature. Poor sucking. Bowel sounds is diminished. And number six, I want you to highlight it. Creases, that is linio, crayon. Well, linio, my hand, near my pied. There's creases in my hand and my feet. Little baby Shakira don't have it. You know why? Because he got out of the oven too early. Right? So you got to make sure creases. Anytime the child is born without the creases and a lot of hair, that is a preterm baby. Okay? Intervention. Now look. Intervention. Watch this. Vital sign. Maintain CPR. Administer oxygen. Monitor INO. Monitor weight. Maintain newborn warming device. Position the newborn every one or two hours. Avoid exposing the newborn to infection. You see all of this? Now, the people go at you which one you will do first. Eh? Think. Think. All of them you're supposed to do. This child is premature. Which one is priority? So, hey! So what is the first thing you're going to do? Make the what? Maslow. Come on, people. Now you see everything. I read it all. Shh. Out of all of those, which one is priority for this baby who's born premature? Why would you say safety? I'm going to put you out and get the matches. So let's go. Respiratory. We're not circulation. Feed, sleep, and then safety. Now, which one of those match the bottom? Look, my book. Vitals? Is it one vitals? No. What number three say? Oxygen. Oxygen. Bingo. Vitals is too broad. I need you to start doing that when you read. <clears throat> Nobody remember that Maslow. Right when I say, which one you going to do first? Who the A? But I'm going to see Maslow. Now, she said vitals. Hmm. She said vitals. Is this a procedure? Is premature a procedure? A procedure is a thoracitesis, a bronchoscopy, an EEG, an EKG. Is this a procedure? No. So vitals is too broad. When you're premature, you have respiratory problem. You remember we read that earlier? So priority is oxygen. Oh, it's, you gonna do that till warm device after you put do you you gonna put that warm device second. Uh, no warm device is fit. Ooh, I love this. Listen to what she said. One device is not safety. No one device is not safety, but one device is not here, too. Where's one device in the bottom? 
Is it sleep? Is it eat? Is it respiratory? Or is it circulation? Circulation. Circulation. What did I tell you one device prevent the child from having? Infection. Good. Where does infection fall on the bottom? Nowhere. Yeah. Where does infection fall on the bottom? Where does infection fall on the bottom? Well, open one. Bingo. Ooh, I think I just opened some marbles, some eyes. When, where does infection fall under the bottom? It does it. Now, you can say circulation. Okay, you say, okay, well, keep the child warm, circulation. But keep the child warm has nothing to do with circulation. Keeping the child warm helps with infection. But priority for this child is airway. Infection for this child is part of the safety mechanism. You see that? After you give the child oxygen, then you can bring your little blanket. You got it? Because you took care of this first. Guys, anytime I say, which is best? Which is first? Which is priority? My, not airway. Out. Maslow. Not no airway. Okay, watch this. I have PAD. PAD. Peripheral arterial disease. What's priority? Why you didn't say airway? Because the crime doesn't mean the what? Okay. You got it? Who did not understand? I see a lot of faces, so I can tell you don't understand. Okay? Yes. Peripheral arterial disease is a disorder. It's a heart disease where the patient is not getting circulation from heart to feet, right? So when you have peripheral arterial disease, the feet is cold. So if I ask you priority, I ask, what is priority? She said, always respiration. It's not always respiration because peripheral arterial disease has nothing to do with respiration. So if you did not understand the disease, you will not know which patient to see first. Because NCLEX not going to give you the disease like that. They're going to give you four patients with different type of disease. Which one you're going to see first. So you need to know all the disease. See, they ain't going to say, what is CAD? What is peripheral pain? You got to already know. You have to come with that. Right? Okay. Any question? Post-term, I am greater than what? 40. 40. Hypoglycemia, so the child's sugar will be low. The child's skin will be dry. The fingernails will be long. The scalp will be perfused. Long, thin body. Extremities wasting. Meconium. Intervention, right? Provide normal newborn care. Monitor for hypoglycemia. Maintain temperature. Monitor for meconium aspiration. What's priority? What's priority? Is the sugar priority or the meconium aspiration priority? Okay. Where does sugar fall on the Maslow list? High sugar causes you to be jittery. But if meconium is in the lung, you got respiratory problems. So again, priority is respiration. After you do that, then you work on the sugar. That's how you need to study. Okay? Small baby. 
Now I'm small. And where I get you to on my exit test, you have a problem with premature, post-term, small, and big baby. You got to know the difference between less than 37, greater than 40, if I'm a small baby, or if I'm a large baby. Right? So, let's go. Small baby, meaning I'm born less than what? Five. Remember, six pounds is normal. Right? Black people, Haitian people, and island people, six baby, six pound baby you want to send back. Right? But that's the normal size, five and six pounds. Yeah? Six pounds. So let's go, small baby, fetal distress, <laughs> gestational age, physical maturity, lower or elevated body temperature, physical abnormalities, hypoglycemia, <laughs> rudy appearance, cyanosis, jaundice, signs of infection, sign of meconium aspiration. What are you going to do first? Airway, oxygen, and then what? Are you going to check the sugar or check what? You told me airway first. There's something that's important second. What is that? How would you know if I have infection? Temperature. By taking my temperature. So respiration, temperature, and then you go with the sugar and covering them. Guys, you got to remember, the temperature one. You remember, if my temperature drop, I have what? Infection. Infection. Don't forget that. But priority here is airway. Okay? You see, intervention, airway, then temperature. Yes? Baby. The normal weight on kids, five to six pounds. That's normal. Normal. So if baby less than five, you small. Now, priority is airway first. Then after airway, you want to warm them because if they temperature drop, they're at risk for what? Infection. And then you check sugar. Yes. Okay. What is the difference between small? Preterm, Sunday. Preterm, in fact, I was born less than 37 weeks. Small baby, in fact, PT. Preterm, in fact, bonnet. Small, in fact, PT. Yes, yes, when you are premature. 99.9, .9, you are so small, but back away on some. What you want to do, and that's what you do on my test, you try to, you say, all Haitians eat glio. That's not true. Some Haitians like turkey, some Haitians like chicken. Our entree. What we known for is that, but that don't mean we all eat that. What she's trying to say, all premature baby is small. That's not the tr that's not true. I have a student in my night class who had a premature baby. That baby was seven pounds, but the baby was born with a lot of hair. So you cannot say all premature baby are small. You can say ninety nine percent. A lot of the premiums are small, but not always. That's what I want you to say. We cool? All right, so let's go. So small is airway. Large. Now I'm big. Big is what now? When you big, you are what? You big, you are more, more than what? No, eight. Remember Eight, eight is the cutoff. Nine, ten, eleven, you a big baby. Nine, mommy at risk for bleeding. 
Yes, nine. Okay, so let's continue. Not large baby, right? Neonate is plotted above the 90th percent goal. They also call them macroscomia. Now, wait a minute. Don't say all big baby, mommy was diabetic. Yeah, it's, honestly, it is true. Statistics do show big babies, mommy is diabetic, but I don't want you to say all, okay? Don't say all big baby, mommy fed sick. 99 point, yeah. But you gotta look at the 1%. Okay, gestational age, birth trauma. Yes, because they too big. What is that birth trauma called? What is that birth trauma called? It, I taught it to you in OB, interpartum, page 226, number eight. I taught you when the baby is born so big, special for teenagers, they have something called self-fulfilling distortion. Make sure y'all know it. Okay? All right. Any question? Okay? Now, I want you to go into priority. Ah, uh, priority for baby. Priority for baby. That mommy that is born big. Glucose. Seek. Yes. S sugar. And watch them for infection. So you're going to monitor their temperature. That's why they put vials. Because if their temperature drop, that's a sign of infection. If their temperature drop also, that's a sign of hypoglycemia. Okay? Now, continuing. Let's go into... 291, necorizin and trochilitis. Necorizin and trochilitis. Necorizin and trochilitis is IBS for baby or IBD, irritable bowel syndrome. IBS has two diseases, Crohn's and ulcerative colitis. This is baby IBS. It's called NEC. Now, NEC, this baby effect to woefully, like the stomach is obstructed. The baby can have regular stool or the baby can have jolly. Some diarrhea and the baby may have blood with it. We don't know. Ready? Let's go. Data collection, the stomach girth will be big, so you need to measure the girth. The stomach will help decrease bowel sound, and every time the baby eat, the baby will vomit. Intervention, I want you to put in clicks. You will isolate the baby, put isolation. Okay, isolate the baby. After you isolate the baby, the baby will be NPO with an NG tube. NPO, NG tube, they're going to put IV so the baby get Pedialyte, right? They will give baby antibiotics, IV. They will give baby steroids so baby is isolated. Baby will be on a heart monitor. Okay? They will have to monitor baby electrolyte. ABGs. Now class, what will be baby ABG? You can say it. What will be baby ABG? Respiratory acidosis, respiratory alkalosis, metabolic acidosis, or metabolic alkalosis? Metabolic acidosis. Baby will vomit and jolly at the same time, but it always will start with the diarrhea and then go to vomit. When it's diarrhea, it's metabolic acidosis. When it's vomiting, metabolic alkalosis, they will check ABGs on baby. Any question? Okay. 
That is your neonate. Now, the fetal alcohol syndrome addicted baby, I talk about this also in sight. I talk about it here too, but when I come back, I'll do a quick rundown before I go to cardio. But it's basically, I talk about this more in psych. The addicted mama, what alcohol do, what cocaine do, and all this, right? Okay, so we gotta fix our time. 11 o'clock, 